This is the 2011 Hobie Outback and we are about to make a modification to the seat which does everything that the 2015 Vantage seat will do except you don't have to buy a new boat in order to do it. Now what we have here is a discontinued seat that used to be sold by West Marine. It is called the Amazing Seat, and it used to be available through their website, AmazingSeat.com. And I think there's a close-up of it here. This is Creations Agramonts, and it's from Canada, Princeville, Canada. I don't know if these are commercially made any longer or not. But I know this is a fantastic alternative to buying a new Outback with proven comfortability. I just got back from a 20 mile paddle, or I should say pedal, with this seat in place. And let me tell you, it's amazing. So basically what the Advantage seat can do for you is, as they say in their advertising, you can take it out of the boat and use it as a beach chair. Well, the same can be said for this chair. So let's open it up. What we have is a folding seat with a waterproof cover. Very, very, very heavy duty. But you'll see that the seat portion of it is quite short, which matches perfectly what Hobie has. Now, as far as being able to go to the beach with this, you take this out and you put this in place like this and you now have a seat that you can sit down on the beach with just like this and the back is supported now you take this out like this and you put it into the Hobie position for the seat. These two items go in the back like this. Okay. I think you can see that all right. And then these two straps that were originally used to hold it together come back like this. They go underneath actually so that they can't come above. And you just pull them like Velcro, like that. Now, look what, you can, what you've got here. You've got your lumbar inflatable that pushes through on this just nicely. Okay? And let me tell you, the seat is so comfortable. A couple other things. If you're going to try to use a Jackson seat or some other modification, what's going to happen is you're going to invade this backspace in here and cut down on what you've got available for storage. Furthermore, the seat's going to be so far back that you'll be leaning forward to, get, to actually steer the craft. With this, there's no alteration in the forward and back of the seat. So you can reach this no problem. Comfortability, wonderful. It's padded, it's soft, it doesn't get you up so high that it changes the stability of the boat. You don't have to remove your original Hopi seat. As a matter of fact, I still have the pad in here the extra pad and you'll notice that these two duct tape strips are on here so that the grommets that are in the bottom of the original seat don't cut into this pad but you don't even really need this pad you could take it out but the comfortability factor is incredible you no longer have a wet seat because you're up high enough so you're above the, all of that you can leave the drains open if you want in the back or in the bottom I should say and if you want to adjust the forward and back of the seat, you use the original straps. So that's it. The only other thing is, is that I use a hydration pack. And I usually attach my hydration pack through these little small bungees that are here in the back of the seat. Nothing has changed with that because the original seat is still in place. So you just put this in like that. Clip this to your vest, and you got hydration all day long. 
So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, and I hope you can find this seat. I was lucky enough to have one already. Uh, left over from my jet ski days. Because I wanted a beach chair at that point. But I had no idea that it would really work out that well. As far as a Hobie modification. So I hope to put this on the forum. And let you guys try to find it. Amazingseat.com Good luck.